Hello, today I'm going to show you how to connect an Android device to become a Motorola Wave on cloud clients. In my case, I'm going to be using a Motorola Ion, but this can be any Android device. It can be from Hytera, it can be a Toughbook tablet, or it can be your regular smartphone. By doing that, we are going to have ability to talk into the Motorola Wave on cloud devices, which, for example, could be this Motorola Moto Turbo Radio. In the descriptions, there is going to be video how to program this radio as a TCP IP network radio. So it is going to be talking over the internet, just like a regular Zello. To use the Wave on Cloud on the Android device, you need to install a free application, but the subscription is paid. So if you do not have account, then downloading it will won't do anything good for you. And after it's being installed, we can provide a pin that we are going to generate from the control panel in the Wave on Cloud. So let's go in the Wave on Cloud. We are go into the users tab and we are going to create a new user by pressing the add user and it's going to be mobile or tablet because the license that you are going to purchase is going to be Android and you can move them between uh, any Android devices. It don't need to be a Motorola Ion, but Motorola Ion is great because it gives you ability to use the hardware PTT here or on the shoulder mic. It's work absolutely beautiful. And here we've got the display name. I'm going to be put a handheld. Here we've got ability to put a mobile phone number and they are going to send the code, but I'm going to hit the tablet user or Wi-Fi only device. So we are going to skip that step. We do not need to put an email here. We are not going to select LMR interop. That's because we do not have it. I hit the save. After doing that, we are going to assign the talk group for the device. So we go into the talk group column and we select the manage on our handheld device. And I'm going to give it access to the dispatch channel by clicking here. And we've got allow on the initiate, allow to receive, talk and receive. Everything is great. I hit save the whole configuration of the talk groups is being done from the console. The last thing that we need to do is hit the generate the activation code and that's going to show us our secret key that we need to enter on our device, on our tablet or any Android thing. So let's open our Wave PTX. This is the old name of the Wave on Cloud service. We are going to allow everything. That's because we are going to trust into the Motorola with everything. And we are going to, all the time, we are going to allow it run in the background. We are going to allow them absolutely everything we trust with them with our life. Okay. We are giving them permission and we should get a question for our activation code. We've got the license, which of course we are going to hit OK. And we should get our code here. We've got the question. Do you want to use the service and activate? We hit yes. And we are going to type that code that is being shown in the admin panel. My code is enter. I hit OK. And it's going to be connecting to the Motorola. It will pull the whole configuration. And we will be able to 
place our call, but before that we are going to assign the PTT key, so that's going to give us a absolutely beautiful experience that we want from the Motorola radio. And do we want tutorial? No. The first thing that we need to do is go into the settings and we are going to assign the background mode. Here it's located. The background mode is very important because it will allow us to use the PTT while the device is asleep. Then we've got the call from lock screen that will allow us to PTT from a locked phone. That might be a security concern for some situation, but for us this is a definitely yes. We've got our PTT and to allow it to work into a talk group or to the contact we have to select we are going to go into call group and I'm going to find the dispatch and it's being done. If we take a look at the top screen you can see that the LMR is being active and I can place a call into or from that radio one two three four five radio check as you can see it's worked absolutely beautiful if I go into the Wave PTX, I can make a call from this touch screen. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, radio four, check. Five. Radio check. As you can see, the Motorola Moto Turbo radio is receiving, and I can place a call into the Motorola Ion. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Testing, 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 testing. One, two, three, four, five. As you can see, it's working absolutely beautiful. So what to do if we would like to place a call by using the hardware PTT? We hit over here and we enable the broadband PTT. We hit OK. And now the LMR part is being disabled. I cannot place call. It's not going to be received, but that's give us access to the PTT on the side or the PTT on the speaker mic. So we've got we've got ability to use this as a, a real radio. So it's going to be acting 100% as we would like to. So I'm going to PTT. One, two, three, four, One, five. Two, three, four, five. Radio, radio check. Radio check. As you can see, the screen can be completely off. One, two, three, four, five. Radio One, two, three, four, five. check. And of course, the add other way around. One, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. Radio check. Radio check. Testing. 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 So as you can see, everything is working absolutely beautiful. We can place and receive call on the Motorola Ion using the internet, and we can easily switch into the LMR and use it like a regular radio. So. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you find it interesting. See you next time and bye bye.